Hi, welcome to part two of blanching your Brussels sprouts. So what I've got at the moment is you'll need a saucepan, cold water and a pinch of salt. Okay, now I've got that on number four. That's just while I do the Brussels sprouts, okay? I've then got a bowl of water, just your washing up bowl, plenty of salt in there. As you can see there, there are the sprouts that are done. Now what the salt water does, that will just kill anything. If there's any little slugs or anything like that, little animals, little insects I should say, uh, that will just kill them. Okay, so, so while I've been doing the sprouts, obviously I've got my water heating up, so that's nice and hot. I've done most of the sprouts, because obviously you don't want to sit here and watch me peel sprouts, because it can be tedious. So, there's the sprout that's come straight from the allotment. What you need to do is just cut the bottom off, and then all you do is peel any bad leaves off, and that will leave your sprout looking like that. Just chuck it in the, in the bowl. So this is a sprout, it's a bigger sprout, it's slightly starting to blown. So just take that off so that's that's like that again just chuck it in the bowl and that's ready oh let's hold off again this it is pretty easy once you do it so that's 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 all them done now okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drain these in my colander no you so i've got to bring that over there like so. So all I'm going to do is just tip that out of there. Yep. So that's caught my sprouts. So that's boiling nicely. Just make sure that's on. So again, pretty straightforward. Okay, so the water's boiling. And all I'm going to do is tip them in there. And then you just wait a minute okay so what that's doing is that's just going to cook them a little bit it keeps the flavor of them in that's why you don't last it doesn't you don't do it for too long because you'll take the flavor out some people just wash them and put them straight in the freezer you can do it um, again just try some try some like that because um, Brussels sprouts and parsnips taste better with the frost on them yeah so you can put them straight in the freezer try them see what it tastes like blanch them put them in the freezer and then you see what that tastes like see which one's the best for you because everyone's different you see so a little bit longer and then all we're going to do is i'm going to take them off the heat into the sink with water, okay, to cool them down as quick as I can. Because obviously, while they're still hot, they're still cooking. So you need to stop the cooking process as quick as you can. So that's why it's in the cold water. Let the cold water run over them and make sure that they're cold. Okay, because obviously, as I said, if they're still hot, they're still cooking, which is then gonna cook them too far, which you don't want, okay? So right. That's done, and then all it is straight over to the sink. So put them in the colander, run cold water, so that's how that's looking like that. Yep, so all I'm doing is just doing that, letting the cold water. By making a mess there. Yeah. So they're all nice and cold. Yeah. That's all you're going to do. You'll feel when they're cold. Once they're cold, it's better. Just leave them in the cold water. Right. Better turn that off before I burn myself. So, then you just drain them. Move all that out of the way. Put that 
over there. There they are. Then, the freezer bag. Yep. What I do is, this is probably about a portion for five of us. Okay, obviously if there was a lot more, what I would do is portion them out so there's enough for the five of us um, for a meal. So it could mean a couple of three bags, you know. So, once we've got them in there like that, one moment, if I can find it. Straw. You need to take the air out of the bag. Okay. So find that in there. That's most of it. The air out. So I'm going to tie that. And then underneath that, I'm going to use one of them bands, them little metal pieces you get with the freezer bags. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that underneath my knot. Twist that. And that is all ready to go into the freezer. It's as simple as that.